to pay the ultimate price, no. sacrificed everything, and reflect on the cost of war. As the veterans here know, no one appreciates peace more than those who've experienced war firsthand. During my first deployment to Iraq, I worked in a medical unit where every single day I was confronted with that high and heavy cost of war. I saw through those experiences just how critical it is that we elect a commander in chief who has good judgment, who has foresight, and who knows when it may be necessary to use military power to defeat those who threaten the safety and security of the American people. Groups like ISIS and Al Qaeda, but just as importantly, making that tough decision about when not to use that military power. I'm confident that Bernie Sanders has that intelligence, he has that good judgment, that foresight, to make those sound decisions when it comes to that most important question of war or peace. That's why I'm supporting Bernie to be our next commander in chief, to be our next president. And you're all here because there is an important question before us, before California, before the country. There are some serious differences between Secretary Clinton and Senator Sanders on a variety of issues, foreign policy in particular. In Syria, right now, Secretary Clinton is pushing for an escalation of this counterproductive regime change war by calling for a no-fly zone. So what does that mean? There's a reason that Senator Sanders, President Obama, and the highest ranking leaders in the Pentagon are all opposed to this so-called no-fly zone in Syria. They're opposed to it because they know what it would take. It would cost billions of dollars, tens if not hundreds of thousands of ground troops, and a massive U.S. air presence. And the very first thing that would have to be done are bombs dropping on Syrian and Russian anti-aircraft defense systems. Where does that lead us? That leads us, the United States, into a direct violent conflict with the other global nuclear power, Russia.